G'day and welcome back to the channel. Hey Brooklyn, what am I doing today? Paul's going to get a car! <laughs> yep, that's right, going to get a car. Um, these adventures are my favourite. Um, this is a car that I've um, had arranged for a little bit and uh, it's basically going to be a donor car for my um, hard top. It's a VG Valiant sedan. I'm, um, I'm picking this up sight unseen. A mate of mine, a good mate of mine, found it for me, and it appears to be a very rusty turd, but pretty much complete. So there's going to be a lot of things I can um, use off it. Hey, you know what? If the body's salvageable, which I don't think it is, um, I'll make sure it's salvaged properly. But yeah, the body's pretty rough from what I can tell. Heading south about 200 k's from Sydney. So let's make a move. I'm in the big barra. It's a good test for it. The trailer on the back. I've got my straps, I've got some tools, a tank full of fuel, and my cheap service station coffee. Let's do this. Barn fresh, more like swamp fresh. That's not my stomach either. Yeah, it's a bit of weight reduction. But it's got all the bits I need. Steve Falcon rim. I wonder what it's like under there. Oh, look at that. That's solid. That never happens. It's probably rough when it's all cleaned up, but they're normally gone. Wow. I was really hoping I could do one of them, get it running and start it up and drive it in videos, but I'm missing ignition. I knew that from photos. What is it? How does it turn? These old motors are good. Yeah, it turns over. It's got compression. Maybe worth saving, who knows? So yeah, it's got all the bits I need for my hardtop pretty much from the sort of dash forward guards, although we've seen better days, lights, grill, I've got a diff, it's a disc brake, what looks of it, it's got a booster, that's 
a bonus. A pretty, not real common. Yeah, discs. So that's all good stuff. Let's have a look inside. Just want to open the door. Trim's a weird colour that matches from there. Ugh. Split bench. All this sort of stuff, handbrake. It's got the keys. It has the keys. Heater boxes, all that stuff I don't have. Spare dash, switches. Yeah, this is good. Rear vision mirror, sun visors, interior light. Yeah. The best way to do up an old car is buy an old car to strip out. This thing's not salvageable by any stretch of the imagination. But there's parts in the like look at this floor. What's oh, bad over there? What's this? It's a date. Some repairs back in 1996. Rear brakes, front discs, machine front discs, pads, 23rd of the first 96. West Gosford, that explains the rust on the coast. Yeah. All right. Enough jibber jabber, let's later on. Check out the weight reduction on this side, which is a beauty. And look, she got a tow bar, that's a bonus. Ugh, look at that. I'm not sure how much of it's going to be still on here when I get home. Let's do it. On the road, she's a roughie, but it'll live on in other cars. It's sad when they're like that, but so many cars end up like that, unfortunately. Yeah, let's hope she's still all there. <laughs> Long drive, mate. Home safe, let's get this beast off. What I might do first is set off a bomb because I've seen a few red backs already and who knows what's living in this thing. And I'd rather them not migrate to my house. So what's next, you might ask? Well, obviously, I need to get what's missing out of the ignition system under the bonnet here. Distributor, leads, coil. I'll work it out. Check a battery, connect up some fuel. 
and rip a massive skid in my driveway because it'd just be silly not to. And then after that, she's gonna get stripped to pieces. And that's all I've gotta say about that. So next video on this thing will be, get it running, burnout. Sounds like a plan. All right, that's it from me. Stay tuned, be good to your mates, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.